Uh, hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to uh, place the battery inside our ThinkPad here. This is a ThinkPad P1 Gen 2. Okay. Uh, I have my tool set that I recently got from AliExpress. This is a Jackamy 181. I showed this in an unboxing video. You can check that out. It's pretty, it's pretty cool set. And now we're losing focus here. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna turn the laptop upside down. We have our so this is magnetic, this is pretty cool, I like it. Uh, it's a bit tough to open, but it's just magnet magnets on here. Anyways, we're just gonna grab the handle and then a Phillips head screw. So as you can see, it has quite like a range of of the uh, tips. Even you actually got to have some sockets here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like it. Then you can just like close it like this. And you're done. Anyway, that's a, that's aside. Let's carry on with opening the laptop. All right, let me open my first side up. Okay, you've got to screw here. So I am be ready to lose the everything. This one's special. It's something like that. I don't know what. Something that just makes a sound great. Anyways, so we open now. We can just pry from the fan that's outside and then it's all right like that. So yeah, here's the battery, the original one. Mm, they look pretty similar except this one has like some more markings on it which looks genuine as it has some chinese but also yeah this one looks let's see if they are the same size mm, they are the same size same tabs and all yep so we won't be having any issues with that same holes placement for the screws right so yeah and then the end let me check the connector right here we have two red cables, one yellow, one white, one blue, and two black for the ground. But indeed, these cables like this seem a bit thicker. I'm not sure if it's the plastic or, but they are definitely thicker than these ones, especially the red and the black ones for that carry the power. All right, I think we're gonna start with the connector first. To get the connector, I'm gonna bring a prying prying tool here. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so we're gonna try and remove this uh, connector here. There we go. Something like that, and you push it a little bit to this side, and then you can lift it. So now we can go ahead and uh, remove the screws. There's one, there's two, one from the left. There's three, and here's the fourth. I'm gonna try and uh, move the wires for the speakers away so that we can lift it very easily. We go this way. You can see that, right? You can see the screen from my view. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We can now easily, I suppose, lift. Uh, not not quite. Yeah, you need to move it forward this way in order to release these tabs. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, now I can see one problem here that we have. We have these uh, pushing in like a sponge here. For vibration and such and i don't think we have that here yes we don't so i'm not sure if i can remove that or not let me first compare again i'm worried about the wires the wires seem pretty thin on the new battery yeah and also they like come out they don't have this angle here that this has that uh, like so that the connector will have no stress with this one. Yeah, it's not that great. Anyways, uh, all looks good except these things here. I think if I I'll try and remove them, they will be removed. Otherwise, nah, I just damaged it here. So probably I'll add my own once I have like because uh, I don't have all the equipment here that I can use. Uh, anyways, so. Here we are. I'm gonna install this. So these tabs go first here, and then this should be aligned. Uh, this one doesn't look like aligned very well. Let me try. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that one is not very aligned. Let me try and move it a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, if you align this one because it has a recessed 
V says here, you can't align the other ones. <laughs> uh, this one is okay, and uh, not quite. Uh, this is a defect here. Uh, I do not like that. Uh, that's a problem. Also, this one like extends all the way beyond there, so I need like to push it. So maybe that's the problem with that angling over there. I didn't quite got it right. So I'm not sure what to do about this. Uh, again, uh, I think I'll need to show the brand here so that you can be careful if you're gonna borrow from them. If you ever need this. Anyhow. I think we'll put the wires for the speaker here and uh, let's see how the screws will go so yeah that goes like that you can see the pattern is like uh, pretty straightforward the wire is already bent so it's easier to also the up some of the thing down so you can pick it up and put the wire back easily and that's it uh now i'm trying to put back the screws so i'll start with the left one because it seems like the one that is has a tabby so i got some recess here and then let's try this one and see mm, might go in but i don't know i guess yeah i already had an issue with that Actually, the work? Oh shit. Yeah, I got it, but I think the a good solution for this is just to do large cell but then again, if you do that, probably screw head will not hold it very well. These two here are good. Now, this one is a bit off very slightly. Um, yeah, that works, okay. Yeah, this is like a bit of issue with this one, and then I'm not sure how to get that here. I'm gonna try it anyways. Just so not to lose the screw, and then we can fix this later. Hopefully, I don't damage any threads. Yeah, well, it's sitting pretty well in there. Now, this connector thing uh, is gonna be also like not so good. Yeah, it needs to be like bent a little bit. They didn't do that. So we're gonna put it like that and voila. Yeah, so we just put it back as like in a verse as we did for opening. Because I can even I'm not talking about this because it's too much and a half. Oops, doesn't really fight, so to be preferred. Alright, two seats to take one. Right, so now that's here. There you go. Now let's try and see if it turns on, and then we'll try to get the power straight to it. So, yeah, let's see. So it does turn on, and then showing us some problem. Probably it needs to it needs the adapter first, and then it will. Okay. Are these two on? Not so sure what the issue is. It some ID thing or something? Okay, it's turning on now. So it needed to is the adapter to be in. Check date. Ah, yeah. The date. I think my CMOS cell is is out of power because that should keep the date. Okay. Okay, that's powering up right now. Let's see. So yeah, uh, we have the wattage, 50 watt, 51 watt hours. Barcode, the manufacturer says SMD, 80 watts. Full charge capacity is 83.5 watts. All right, that's a bit more than the design. Anyways, the main capacity is 41, so it's 50%, that makes sense. Uh, lithium polymer, 51 to full charge. Thermal version. Oh, that's that's looking good. It's looking really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully charge it all the way up to 100%. Yeah, I'm using here this uh, Lenovo Vantage tool, software tool. Then I can do a battery guard reset to have it like calculate the capacity of the battery. It'll do like a three stages uh, reset charge and discharge and charge again so you know, what else do we have here oh, these are some other settings we don't care about that the battery is in good condition it says here uh battery details so yeah already talked about that and then uh, what we need to do is probably do the diagnostics yeah we do have you know diagnostics here uh wait a minute diag here it is 
All right. Let's wait for that to load. Yeah, here you have diagnostics and then battery. Uh, you can do a quick test. Start. There is an extended test. It takes some time. So we're just gonna do a quick test for. So everything passes.